I said, the only way you're going to survive the shift is to maintain your momentum. What you talking about, Pastor? I'm glad you asked. You got to keep on doing what you've always been doing. You can't let your enemy think that he has taken your witness, taken your joy, taken your peace. You got to keep on doing what you've always been doing. Bad news doesn't keep you from coming to church. Bad news doesn't keep you from praying your prayers. Bad news doesn't keep you from lifting up the name of Jesus. If he's brought you safe thus far, he'll carry you safely on. Keep on doing what you're doing. Don't let the shift shut you down. Oh, that's a good word for somebody listening to me today because somebody gets some bad news and the first sign of bad news, you're ready to throw in the towel. You're ready to wave the white flag of surrender. You're able to sit at home. You're ready to sit at home, close your curtains, get in the bed, pull the covers over your head and never get back out the bed. And too many believers are suffering from perpetual pity parties. Too many believers have depression that keeps grappling them, holding them and not letting them go. And you need to get yourself up, dust yourself off lift up your head oh ye gates and believe that the king of glory shall come in can I get one witness in here who still believes I can keep on going I can keep on surviving 